movie, huh, Mom? I can't believe I let you and your father talk me into watching Don't Go Into the Basement, part five. <laughs> I can't believe you missed the first four. <laughs> Watch this part, Mom. This is where the ghost sneaks up behind the school teacher. He creeps across the room. He stops it. He smiles evilly. He grabs her by the throat. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mom, you're such a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you're such a chicken. <laughs> Vicky, go check the circuit breaker in the kitchen, will you? Check the circuit breaker in the kitchen. I'll get the flashlight. I'll get the candles. I'll get the popcorn. Some batteries. I need some butter. <laughs> oh, Jamie, would you get that? Just to be out of the night like this. Maybe a monster. Hi, Jamie. I was close. <laughs> I saw your lights go out, and I figured this would be a perfect opportunity for a candlelight dinner. I've got the candles if you've got the dinner. <laughs> Harriet, I've already had dinner. Then how about candlelight leftovers? <laughs> oh, great. Now, well, Harriet, you can stay and watch a movie with us if you'd like. Thanks, Mrs. Lawson. That is, if you won't be scared by a ghost story. Oh, no. Nothing scares me since I saw my mom in a bikini. <laughs> What's the problem, Vicky? There was a temporary disturbance of the tent. What? I said there was a temporary surge of voltage. Are you okay? I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> hi, Mr. Lawson. Oh, hi, Harry. Well, what was the matter, honey? Well, apparently it was just a sudden power surge. Hmm. Dad, did you see that? What? Well, the, the picture behind you, it turned upside down. Honey, I think the movie's getting to you. Vicky must have done that this morning when she was dusting. Vicky, go sit down. Have some popcorn. Why'd you change your channels, Mom? Yeah, who wants to watch Drooling for Dollars? <laughs> I didn't change it. It did it by itself. That's better. It changed channels again. I didn't change it again. Something strange is happening here. Something strange is sitting here. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, Mr. Lawson. Harriet, there's nothing wrong, okay? Uh, have some more popcorn, Vicky. <laughs> This house is haunted! I'm getting out of here! Oh, Ted, uh, Harry, it's right. Something strange is happening here. Yeah, Dad, maybe our house is haunted. Don't be ridiculous. Well, then how do you explain what happened to Harriet's hair? A bad perm. I don't know, honey. Maybe it was a static electricity from the storm. Anyway, our house is not haunted. Can we, can we watch the movie, please? Oh, Vicky, would you close the door, please? Ghost. <laughs> oh no. Dad! Dad! Mm -hmm. Matter, honey. 
Look at our living room. Looks like Jamie's room. <laughs> What's that noise? We came from the kitchen. All right, nobody panic. There is nothing to be afraid of. Shouldn't someone check out the kitchen? Right, let us know what you find, Jamie. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> you just wait here, all right? <laughs> It's only Vicky. Oh, thank goodness. See? Uh, Come on in. Sit down. We'll have some breakfast and talk about it, all right? Good morning. Breakfast is ready. Vicky, what happened to the living room? I cleaned it. Did, did you turn the furniture upside down? No, it did that by itself. <laughs> by itself? Are you sure? Positive. It made it easier to vacuum underneath the couch. They really are here. Now, let's not jump to conclusions, all right? Can we discuss this logically? <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. Mm. Would you like some eggs, honey? Thank you, dear. <laughs> Wait. Oh, <a> minute. <laughs> I'll be the only kid in the neighborhood with my own ghost. What's a ghost? Oh, a ghost is a strange-looking thing from another world. Hi, guys. Hi, ghost. <laughs> I just came by to see if there was any more ghostly activity last night. But this time I'm prepared. No ghost will bother me as long as I wear this. What is that? It's to keep evil spirits away. It's a string of anchovies. <laughs> anchovies? Period. It's supposed to be garlic that does that. Garlic? Darn it. He spent a whole hour picking these off of pizza. <laughs> well, it's not a total loss. It'll keep me away. <laughs> well, Jamie, I really... Oh, no! Vicky! <laughs> Vicky, what are you doing? Hovering. <laughs> well, do it a little closer to the ground. You know you're not supposed to do that in front of people. Come down. I can't. I have no control. Oh, boy. Mom, Dad, you better come here quick. Oh, no. What's the matter, Jamie? What? Look! Oh. Vicky, what are you doing? Get down from there. Get down? I don't even know how I got up. <laughs> She says she has no control of herself. Ted, can't you do something? I'd better. If she stays like that, her radiothermonic generator will rupture her polynucleotide processor. What does that mean? I'll throw up. <laughs> I'm worried. The, the house is a disaster area. We can't get any sleep. And Vicky's hanging off the wall like a bat. <laughs> I guess she's off the wall. <laughs> we just have to figure out what's causing all of these things. That's easy. Ghosts. I never thought I'd say this, but Jamie might be right. I feel like I'm living in a horror movie. Yeah, the Lawsonville horror. <laughs> I just fell off the wall on my head. Did you put a dent in it? No, but there's one in the floor. <laughs> Come here, Vicky, let me see, honey. And we have to look at all these happenings objectively. <laughs> Rational. But I really think... <laughs> I really think I just lost a sideburn. <laughs> Better make a phone call. Who are you gonna call, Dad? Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, this is terrific! We got a ghost in the house!
house. Not necessarily, Jamie. There could be other explanations for all this phenomena. But if it's not a ghost, then why did you call the university to send over those parapsychologists? I didn't say a ghost wasn't a possibility. I called the parapsychologist to investigate it. It must be them. Uh, Vicki, uh, would you go in the kitchen and get the tray of refreshments, please? The tray of refreshments? Help her, Jamie. Some other reasons, huh? Maybe it's a polite ghost. Opens doors for ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted! Did you see that? The, the doorbell just rang by itself. There's nobody there. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a little spirit humor there. Are you Mrs. Lawson? What's left of her? Uh, well, I'm Dr. Fenster from the university. And I'm Dr. Dickens. Mm. Hi, hi, I'm, uh, I'm Ted Lawson. Hi. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. How Dickens. do you do, sir? Listen, I, uh, I feel a little foolish calling you. I mean, I mean I'm a scientist myself, uh, cybernetic engineering. But there are some strange things happening here that I just can't explain. No reason to feel foolish, Mr. Lawson. Some very reliable people have encounters with psychic phenomena. And some real ding-dongs, too. <laughs> Uh, oh, th th these are our children, uh, Jamie and Vicky. Uh, this is Dr. Dickens and Dr. Fenster. No, no, I'm, I'm Dickens, he's Fenster. Now, why don't you start by giving us a little more background on the events around here? Oh, well, well the pictures have uh, been turning themselves upside down, and, and furniture has been all rearranged, and, and doors, they've just been opening by themselves. And the ghost threw a butcher knife at Dad and tried to turn him into shish kebab. Well, the trick is to determine if all those happenings are imaginary or for real. Oh. <laughs> uh, I vote for real. <laughs> Now, this is a motion detector. Over here, we have infrared sensors and this. Oh, don't touch this. It's a high-speed video camera. And this is a still camera for time-lapse photography. And this is a tone modulation recorder for measuring sonic movement. Now, if our instruments register the presence of a spectral entity, or what you would call a ghost, then we can go about getting rid of it. Well, and how do we do that? Well, show it reruns of Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Not funny, Dickens. I'm Fenster. You're Dickens. <laughs> We are now entering the inner sanctum of the haunted Lawson house. For an extra 50 cents, you can take a picture of yourself with a ghost. Period. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Making a fast buck. <laughs> They're paying me a dollar each to see your haunted house. But I make my big money on the anchovy necklaces. <laughs> Harriet, you sunk to a new low. How could you be that greedy? I'll split the profits with you. 50-50. Right this way, kids. <laughs> and be sure not to step in the ectoplasm. <laughs> this is the haunted living room. That's the haunted sofa. Down that hall is the haunted toilet. <laughs> that's my haunted dad, and that's my haunted mom. This is the haunted chest. This is the haunted door, and I bid you all a very haunted goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> What was that all about? Making a fast buck. <laughs> but, Mr. Lawson, there's a spectral presence in the room. Look at these readings. I've never seen ectoplasmic potential this strong. Now, this will make history. We'll win the Nobel Prize. I'll get my car fixed. <laughs> <laughs> then what happens? Well, in every case of paranormal occurrence, there's a center of activity, a particular place or thing in the house that the ghost chooses to inhabit. Turn on the dish. Now, this will help us pinpoint exactly where the center of activity is. Now, everybody, please, stand over there. Vicky, come over here. It's moving. It's following a girl. Uh, uh, Vicky, go sit on the sofa. 
You're right, it's the girl. The ghost has control of her. No, Joni. Vicky's been the problem. Vicky's the ghost. What? I gotta get her out of here. Oh, listen, uh, guys, listen, I, uh, I better let Vicky rest. You know, the strain of all this is uh, tremendous. <clears throat> I'm sure you understand. It's yeah. her first haunting. Uh, Mr. Lawson. Yeah. Thanks, ghost. <laughs> Well, how could she make the knife and all those other things move? Last night when she came in to fix the circuit breaker, there was that power surge. She must have gotten zapped and it disturbed her electromagnetic field. And that, of course, would affect objects with metal in them near to her. Sure, that's it. Look at that. Her RTG core fused with her thermonic generator. Mr. Lawson? Hey, could we speak to you for a moment? It's quite urgent. Sure. In the other room, please. Okay. Now, we didn't want to alarm your wife and children, but your daughter is in great danger from the ghost. Uh, yeah, listen, guys, I really... Don't worry. Don't... We're going to help you. We have a way to get rid of ghosts. Oh. Right. We'll hit it with everything we've got, and we'll scare it away. You kidding? You mean you're going to spook a spook? <laughs> <laughs> We're serious, Mr. Lawson. Oh. Scaring a ghost is a proven technique with parapsychologists. Now, strange as it sounds, it works. And don't worry, we're not leaving this house until it's gone. Now, doesn't that make you feel better, fella? Huh? Uh, yeah, that's uh, it's great, guys. So, uh, I'll give the family the uh, good news. What they want, Ted? Well, they've got a plan to get rid of the ghost, and they're not leaving until it's gone. But they're liable to find out Vicky's a robot. There's no ghost to get rid of. Well, maybe we can help them, huh? Maybe we can supply them with the ghost. After all, Vicky got us into this. Maybe Vicky can get us out of this. Well, how, honey? Yeah, how, honey? <laughs> You can get Vicky in here now. Vicky! Come in here! Now, we're ready for any sign of paranormal activity, Mr. Lawson. We've got a special tape recording to help us scare the ghost away. It's under control. Right. When the ghost shows up, we'll rise to the occasion. <laughs> I think we can start now. Uh, get out of there, Vicky. <laughs> Look, it's got possession of Vicky. Vicky, are you all right? Vicky doesn't live here anymore. Turn on the tape. Louder. Turn up the noise. Look, it's the ghost. I'm going back to the graveyard where it's quiet. That noise could wake the dead. It's gone. They did it. Congratulations, folks. You now have what we parapsychologists call ZSD. What's ZSD? Zero spook density. <laughs> In other words... The ghost is clear. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. You did a great job, gentlemen. Thanks to you, we can go back to leading a normal life. Yeah. You okay, Vicky? I'm perfectly fine. It's back. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs>
Love to come.